Welcome back everyone to another episode of Tyler's Fishing Post. And in today's video, I messed up. I made a big mistake. I tried to plan a video out. Did not work well. Did not work well because I tried to plan it out. So I made a huge mistake. But at the end of the day, I caught some fish. So make sure if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers, y'all. So help me get to 3,000 subs. We gotta hit that number before the daily videos are up. Because we got like, what, a month? A month or two till the summer's over, I think? So we got like an average of, uh, let's see, 20 to 40 videos-ish. Depends, depends on how many months. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you can catch the next 20 to 40 uploads, y'all. Daily, daily content, y'all. So make sure you're subscribed. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I'll let the video explain what mistake I made. I made a huge one, so I'll let the video explain. Let's get started. We out here, y'all, John's Lake. Starting out with a little bit of graphing, uh, looking to see if there's any like shell bars or holes in the grass. All I'm seeing so far is a ton of grass. I don't know whether it's hydrilla or not. It's super, super thick stuff. It looks pretty nasty, like it's got, it's like covered in like sediment and stuff. What we're gonna do today is we're just gonna hit a bunch of spots. We're gonna graph it a little bit, and we're gonna fish, and we're gonna see what happens. And we're gonna try to break this lake down for you. There we go. Oh no, that's a good one. That's a good. One. That's a good. One. My drag was not set, y'all. My drag was not set. Oh, it's it. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's a. It's a fish. No, it's not. It's not good. Tighten up my drag there. <laughs> Let's go, y'all. First fish of the day. I like legit just got off the phone and I was like picking it up. I'm like, oh, we got a fish. Oh, on the pippinator, getting it done. Oh, what is this like? I'm pretty sure this is June bug and green pumpkin. Awesome little mix of colors there, y'all. Like. Look at that, in the grass, it like matches the grass. And then it's also like June bug red. I'm pretty sure it's June bug red, yeah. Heck yeah, first fish of the day, not big. On that grass edge, y'all, I literally put the poles down and drifted a little ways away from it and just started throwing out there on the grass edge. It's, y'all, this is crazy. So you got pepper grass and eel grass, dude. Like eel grass, y'all. Eel grass is the best grass. And hydrol, eel grass and hydrol. Some of the best grasses. Especially if you can find one isolated eelgrass clump, you are, you're doing something right. If you can find that, you are doing something right in life. So, awesome first fish of the day. Awesome sauce. I think we're going to catch them here pretty good. On the pippinator, the 8 inch, which I, I turn into like a 6 inch, I cut off like the top of it. Which I would recommend getting the 8 inch because you can always make it smaller, you know. Like, or if you plan on throwing the six inch, it is cheaper. So if you do want to get the six inch, I think it's like three bucks for a pack of the uh, six inch worms. And then you get 10% off of that. So that's pretty legit. Get them in all the same colors, I'm pretty sure. But I've been taking the eight inch and kind of making it a little smaller. I don't think it's quite six inches. It, it might be it might be six inches, y'all, so. Well, now that my uh, my drag is nice and tight, let's uh, let's keep fishing. There we go, yo. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, let's go, y'all. On the fluke. Oh, my reel freaking got all loose on me. Oh, y'all. That was so epic. Just throwing the fluke out there, letting it sink. And this guy choked it. Sheesh. Look at that, y'all. That's a decent fish. I threw it out there, literally just saw my line run, run, run. And I'm like, oh, I'm waiting for it to get tight. And I was like, ah. Oh, let's go, y'all. Let's go. Back camera wasn't recording, but it's all good. On the fluke. Oh gosh. Second fish of the day on the fluke. Not a bad one. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Oh my goodness, y'all. I have been struggling for the past like hour because I've only been I've only been out here for like maybe two hours, y'all, and it has been a little bit of a struggle. 
because I was thinking that uh, with this wind, the way it's blowing, the way everything's setting up, that the fish would be in the grass munching on bait. Well, I start doing that, throwing chatterbait in the grass and all that, just a little dink there. Start doing that, nothing, nothing, nothing in the hydrilla and all that, nothing, nothing. I'm like, geez. So then I come up here and like second cast, I'm like reeling in, not paying attention, <gasps> kaboom, and I'm like, I look down and there's just like an eight pounder right there. I don't, I wasn't recording y'all, sorry, but like it was just a giant fish. And I was like, <gasps> and I was like, oh my gosh. So I've been doing that for the past 30 minutes, just on top of this grass and lily pads. And I've had like two blow ups and that was it. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I see all this little bait like blown in the grass and all that. So I'm like, okay, let me try the jerk bait. Literally second cast with the jerk bait, I catch a fish on the edge of this grass. So now we kind of have more of a pattern Finally, that just kind of makes sense. The fish are like uh, feeding on little bait and blowing up against this Kissimmee grass. So we'll keep doing this. There you go. There you go. Stay on. Oh. Oh no, did he get off? Oh, he's still on. He's still on. Oh, I think he's still on. Oh, man, y'all. He like barely even came up for it. That could be a gar too. On the swim bait, come on. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. Oh, he's a decent one. Oh, is he? Oh, 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 get off there. Get off there. Get off there. Get off there. Oh, let's go. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. Oh man. Man, oh man, y'all. It has been a slow bite today which is probably my fault. I should have just like stayed where I was and caught fish the rest of the day. Well, y'all, I may have messed up by leaving the spot. <laughs> oh. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. In the wind, in the wind. Oh, he pulls down. He's getting way too much slack. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, first fish on the jackhammer. Let's go, y'all. We freaking caught him on everything. That is insane, y'all. I think I messed up by leaving the spot originally. And y'all, today has just been all over the place. You know, it's just, I feel like we're gonna start catching him now because this is like textbook. Wind's blowing right in here. There's grass. The fish are gonna be in here. Like that's just, that's just how it's gonna be. Hopefully. There we go, y'all. Got him. Got him. Oh, I felt him hit it. Oh, oh, it's a good one. Let's go. Oh, it's a decent one. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go. Oh, heck yeah, y'all. I'm just like reeling the chatterbait and it goes thunk. And I'm like, oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. And then I'm like slowly reeling. And it goes thunk again. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh gosh. That the jackhammer with the ditto swimmer. Oh my gosh. Awesome combo, y'all. Like I know a lot of people like to throw like, I don't know, like flukes and stuff on these, which is good too. But like, I just like the ditto swimmer on it. You know, I got other trailers and stuff as well that CPF has, but like that ditto swimmer on a jackhammer is a phenomenal combination. So let's go. No way, no way, another fish, another fish. They're schooled up right there. I saw him school a little bit earlier. Let's go! Oh boy, I'm so excited, y'all. Oh, get out of the grass, get out of the grass. Get out of the grass, oh my gosh. I've been out here all day, and we're finally catching fish. Oh, it's a de decent fish, let's go! Oh, they're all about the same size. I wouldn't say decent, they're all a pound, pound and a half. On the ditto swimmer, Jackie, really? You all know the deal, that's the juice. Like really really messed up like could have sat here all day and had like 20 pounds oh, no way another fish oh my gosh y'all i messed up instead of being able to fish this all day we get to fish it for an hour let's go get that fish out of the grass out of the grass you come oh it's not that big i'm so tired y'all my muscles are so sore i've reeled in like four fish in two minutes and he's so far out there He's not that big. He's acting like he's big though. He's not that big. 
Oh my gosh. Ah. Man, I'm wore out. Come on, shake it off. There you go. Oh, it feels so good to catch fish like this. I haven't caught fish like this in a hot minute, y'all. It has been a while. They're sitting right off this point. There's a little bit of grass. Oh, another one. Another one. Yep, have not caught fish like every cast in a hot minute. That is for sure. Because y'all know the chain. It's hard to catch fish every cast on the Harris chain. It's one of the reasons why I've been starting to fish different lakes. Get away from all the fishing pressure. Oh, they're schooling up. Get out of the grass. Oh my gosh. Y'all, they're schooling up right there. I'm gonna get caught in the grass immediately. Three, two, one. There we go. There we go. Oh, that was so cool, y'all. So cool. They were schooling up there, and I was like, oh yeah. Stop swimming at the boat. You're so annoying. Stop it. This is insane. Oh, that's another one. That's a, that, is that a good one? Oh, is that a good one? Oh, it feels like a good one. Oh, it's the same size as every other fish I've caught. Oh my gosh, they're schooled. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all. The school's crazy. Get out of there. Get out of the grass. Get out of the grass. I need to make another cast. Get out of there. Ah! Get out of the grass. Get out of the grass. Oh, finally. Finally. Oh, 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 oh. Oh gosh, oh gosh, come here, come here, come here. I can't get my bait out there fast enough. Come here, come here, come on, come on, come on. Get the grass, a little bits of grass off, off the wall. Off the wall. Uh, 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 grass on it. Let's see if, let's see if it makes a difference. Oh, it doesn't make a difference. Oh, these fish are crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh, my arms are getting tired. They're getting tired. They're getting tired. Oh, man. Comment down below. What are we doing next? Conway, Butler, Claremont Chain. I mean, Claremont Chain has never been this good to me. Okay. Y'all, now this cast for sure. I catch a fish on this cast. Go like and subscribe. I'm just burning it, y'all. There's another one. Oh, it feels like a... Oh, it could be, could be a good one. About the same size as the rest of them. Same size. Same size. Same size. Oh, he's swimming at me. Oh. 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 Y'all. Gotta catch them all. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, y'all, fish came out of the water for it. No freaking way. No way. Fish came out of the water for the spook. Oh, no way, y'all. No freaking way. Y'all, came out of the water and grabbed the spook. Oh, please don't shake. Please don't shake. Please. Don't do it. Well, y'all, that is gonna do it for today's video. Make sure you go check out CPF Lures. Click the link down below, y'all. Like, today was tough, but that's because I kept on running around and I kept on changing stuff up. When in reality, I was already on the fish, I just didn't know it yet. I was like telling myself, oh, I'm gonna come back here at the end of the day, wrap it up, because like, I found fish here in the beginning. So, why did I leave? I don't know, I made a big mistake by leaving this area. That's all I know, it was not a good deal. And see, look at this, like, look at this. When you put in the time to graph and find a good location, then you can easily, easily catch fish. Cause I'm sitting here and I'm like, yep, they're like in that hole. They're like, there's a little grass edge. I, I caught a fish there earlier on a fluke because I already graphed it. I knew there's like this little grass point. There's a hole, no grass, then there's grass, and there's another hole. It's like, that's how it sets up. And I know that because I graphed it and I know exactly where the fish are gonna be if they're here. Like I fished the first hole, nothing. I start fishing the grass in between the two holes, nothing. And then the hole like up a little bit further in between the like grass lines, because there's grass line right in front of the boat, and there's a grass line down further. That's where the fish are schooling up, eating bait, like getting blown in here. And then when the fish, when the like the fish stop schooling, they go into the hole that's in front of me. Which I've yet to catch a fish out of the hole. I've been catching them where they're schooling up at. So I've I actually spend time 
in this area and like dial in where these fish are setting up at, I can catch them every cast sitting in the hole. But it's sun setting. We got to get going, y'all. So thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. We need to hit 3,000 subscribers, y'all. Please, 3,000 subs. It was a long, painful day today. It was slow. Saw an eight pounder and fished for two hours for no reason because I saw an eight pounder, you know? You know how it is. There's eight pounders up in the grass all the time, you know? It's just like, can you catch them is the one thing. They're schooling in front of me. I'm gonna wrap it up. I just have to, they're starting to school again, y'all. I need to close it out here before the sun sets. I, of course, will be fishing. If it's like pitch blackout, I'll still be fishing here for schooling. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, hit it hard, smash it. Mm. And I will see y'all tomorrow for another episode of Tyler's Fishing Post.